As reported, the global market for electronic physical access control equipment was estimated at $5.88 billion in 2019 and is forecasted to grow at a CAGR of 4.7% to $7.4 billion in 2024. Consumer locks are included in that number, so it makes it a little bit weird for the commercial marketplace, but it's the best report that I've seen so far. But here's what I think about it. I think our industry is grossly underestimated. It is far more complicated than how it's being reported, and the way the industry is viewed and reported is part of the problem. I believe those numbers reflect old truths of our industry, and those old truths are crumbling and exploding. It is primarily for the positive, but it really depends on what side you take. Do you take the short-term side or the long-term view? The two old truths that I'm talking about are this. Number one, the industry is reported and tracked as only as a high security market. This is a cottage industry and not reflective of the actual mainstream market. Yes, the high security is a good market, but it's still cottage. The industry is in the midst of going mainstream. It's going down market, broad. It's even in the high security side, we're seeing less friction. So if you put all that together, it's a much larger story and it needs to start being talked to like that. For example, the size of the SMB and enterprise market in the US is well over 90%, even close to 99%. That alone dwarfs any of the numbers being reported by the companies interviewed for these studies. When analysts call all the usual suspects to tell them how their market's doing or their business is doing, they're not talking to the right people and they're not speaking to this marketplace. Our industry does not capture this market right now. We all talk about it, but very few do it. Also, in those numbers, a high percentage of the doors aren't captured. That's because we haven't figured out a model to penetrate interior doors yet. The true market demand, because the value prop hasn't been there, hasn't been reached. It is now with the pandemic and health concerns, and the costs have been way too high to make this a reality, but that's all under pressure now. Plus, if you look at the age of a lot of our industry's systems that are installed, they're well over 30 years old. That means they're due for updating, especially to support the new use cases brought on by COVID. Budgets for replacing veg devices like readers or just software service layers that sit over legacy access control systems, they're being opened up right now, and they're being applied right now. This is only gonna accelerate. The entire market is not captured in those numbers. Most of the incumbents, they don't have a strategy for it. The second truth is this. The key word in that market sizing they talked about is equipment. This industry is being forced to appreciate software. Software not as a feature of hardware, but as a business. And hardware is becoming the feature of software. And this is challenging conventional wisdoms and the players involved in our industry. Again, this is a hardware industry. Even the historical software companies are more or less hardware companies. But this is changing. Market pressures and alternative revenue opportunities via software are accelerating. But keep in mind, this is an industry that loves seeded technology. It's hard to rip and replace, it resists change, and we have deep-rooted norms. But unlike times in the past, there's a pressure cooker happening, and the results are going to be accelerated change. Blame can go all around for why the change has been slow. I'll start with the investor and analyst community not asking the right questions when it comes to software, the boards of public companies not going deep enough and holding leadership teams accountable when it comes to innovation, and an old school industry that's frankly afraid of change. But it's changing. The industry is highly fragmented. What was a feature is now a bug. I get asked, asked often, can you compare somebody like a Legion or Asa Abloy to a Linnell? And that question alone shows me the confusion and lack of understanding of our industry. The industry is going through a transformation, not only digitally, but also customer expectations, demographics, and where its places within the built environment. Now is a pivotal moment. We have internal pressures being created because of historical aging workforces, old and inadequate technology platforms, and lack of innovation. It does not matter prior as the industry was allowed to function this way, as long as we kept bad people out and we kept people safe. But like other industries, we're now seeing external pressures challenge conventional wisdoms. For example, convenience being unsafe. Software has shown us that this is not true. We've also seen megatechs change customer expectations, not only in the consumer world, but they're starting to in the corporate world. And our industry is becoming a feature of a much larger value proposition. That's why I talk about keeping an eye on building operating systems. And this is an opportunity it's not a case of despair, it's a case of excitement. It is rare that you get to participate in an old industry reimagining itself. That said, 
What got us here today is not going to get us there tomorrow. This is an industry that likes to think and act tactically. It needs to think strategically and act tactically.